Oh man, if, if there's one thing late 70s punks hate more than conformity, it's paying the phone bill. Holy Christ, man, what is this? What they do, send us the bill of mass to swear God? And there's one thing horror hosts hate more than fans that don't want to pay for an autograph. It's horror movies where the characters spend all their time whining about paying the phone bill. What are they, kidding me, man? Come on, Reno, you meat-faced jackhole. It's time to quit bitching about your roommate's long distance charges and start killing Charles Darwin. Whoever the hell that was you saw in the church. And then there's... Hey man, we're doing a show here. Oh, hey buddy, don't mind me. I just got some work to do on this wall back here. And uh, Oh, hey, are you watching that Driller Killer movie? Yeah. Oh man, that's a messed up movie right there. You see that scene where the punk chick's trying to drill a hole in the door while she's all hopped up on the goofy goofs? We actually just watched that. Oh movie. yeah, guy, you should probably tell your viewers out there about how not to be handling the power tools while they're all hopped up on the goofy goofs. That's one heck of a safety hazard, you know? Although that meat face jackhole fella shouldn't have been helping either, not without the proper eye protection. Safety first, you know, that's what I always say. Although I don't really get why she wanted a hole in the door in the first place. Crazy, you know? Yeah, uh, crazy. Cool, but uh, don't, don't mind me, you know. Don't want to interrupt your late night horror movie show, so I'll be over here working on the wall, and you just get back to the witty quips and cut them ups and whatever you got planned for the night, you know. Well, I guess it's time to get back to Driller Killer right here on Frank Zito's Night of Life. Good to see you. Good to see you, Dolphin. Wait, sit down. Thank you. Sure. So, tell me, when are we going to see it? Well, just as soon as I finish it. As soon as it's finished? You mean the masterpiece isn't finished yet, Mr. Miller? Almost. I'm going to need another week. I need a favor from you, first of all. We need an extra 500. $500 now. And two months ago, it was $200 for your girlfriend's abortion. And three weeks later, it was $150 for extra material costs. This will be the final favor, Briggs. I just need that 500 to keep the landlord off my back. Oh, for Christ's sake. But it isn't one thing with you, it's another, isn't it, Mr. Miller? Ah, oh, come on, Dalton. It's only $500. It's going to be my greatest piece. What do you see? You'll love it. Give me that 500 and I'll give you that payment in one week. <laughs> no. And that's final? That's final, Mr. Miller. Okay, Al, here's the rent for one month. That's yeah, very good, you know, but you're still one month behind. And come Monday, you're going to be two months behind. Now, what are you going to do about that? Don't worry about it. Reno's almost finished with the Buffalo, and as soon as he's done, we'll be able to pay you all the rent that we owe you. You know, you don't pay up. Everything's going to be out on the street. Well, it's not me. No, I just work for him. It's the people in the building you got to worry about. Hey, they're going to call the marshal. They're going to take all your pretty stuff and put it out on the street. You're going to have to sit out there and watch it. People are going to take it. Everybody's going to know you didn't pay the rent. Don't worry. Like I said, the painting's almost finished. Worry? I ain't the one that's got the worry. You got to worry.
Oh, I'll clean it. I love to clean it. Get my hands. Now, you don't want it. Beautiful place. Beautiful. It, it costs you a lot of money. How much? We'll take it. It's great. Beautiful. 500 a month. Cash. Has it got a toilet? Won't make much noise, will you? Violin. We're a violin group. Didn't even tell them we're a violin group. The money. Give them the money. It's finished. I mean, you know we need the money, so why don't you face up to it? Oh, so it's finished. Thank you. It's finished. Since when did you become such an expert on painting? I mean, you're telling me it's finished? What do you know about painting anyway? Really? What do you know about painting? Tell you what you know about painting, man. You don't know nothing about painting, man. You know what you know about? You know about how to bitch and how to eat and how to bitch and how to, how to bitch, but you don't know nothing about painting. So don't tell me when this is going to be done. I'll tell you when it's going to be done. And about the money, man, I don't want to hear about that money. All right? That's all you talk about. That's all the other one talks about. That's all I hear from that fag art dealer uptown. And I don't want to hear it because the sound of that word, man, drives me crazy. And you know what I think about money anyway? I'll tell you what I think about money. See this? This is what I think about money. This, all right? So get ahead, man. You ready? Throw it up in my face. Come on, you've been waiting to say it. Say it! Say it! Say it how you've been paying the bills. How we've been spending your money. How you picked up the rent last month. Huh? What do you want me to do? Get on my knees? You want me to kiss your feet? But forget it, man, because this place has been here long before you got here, and it's going to be here long after you leave, all right? So don't tell me about money, and don't tell me about painting, and don't tell me when this thing is going to get finished, all right? Because I'll tell you when it's going to get finished. In fact, you'll be the first to know. I'll come and tell you, man. I'll come up to you wherever you are, even if you're sleeping there. I'll sneak up to you, man. I'll whisper right in your ear, man. I'll say, it's done! Aw, oh, come on. I don't want to spend another night just sitting around looking at the TV. We have to. We have no money. But I thought you got your al 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 alimony. Alimony. Check today. I did, but I had to pay the rent. But that's never. <laughs> we don't have any drugs. We don't have any money. We don't have any dope. I can't take it anymore. Why don't you call up one of your friends and go out? Because I don't have any friends. 